Yo, what is going on and welcome back. What is today? It is, I just like to try and keep you all up to date. Tuesday the 21st, it's 4.30 in the afternoon and my sunglasses are in the truck. But Devin and I are breaking out the big gear tonight. We are headed up north and we're gonna try and bank fish for some big striper. So first things first, walking into Academy, gonna see if they've got some gear that we need. We're gonna look for some shad style baits. Come on inside with us, join along. We're gonna go catch some big fish tonight, hopefully. Okay, so far this is looking pretty good. Half ounce and quarter ounce. Unless we find anything better, we might go with these right here. Zoom. All right, big flukes. Would you like to clap for me? Get $15 off the first purchase? Uh, no thank you. All right, man, $40 worth of goodies later. We walked out some happy campers. We'll tell you all the gear we bought once we get to the water. We're also out here with George. Moved from California to have some fun fishing with us, man. Actually for work, but. <laughs> He's got some uh, striper dedicated gear because he's actually been at these things for quite some time. Had to invite him out. Cool dude, man. And we are going to go ahead and see what he's got in the bag and talk to you about this stuff as well once we get to the water. See you soon. About an hour later, you guys, Devin offered to drive so I could get back to y'all's Instagram DMs. I replied to about 100 messages and we are all caught up. George is right behind us and uh, we are ready to fish. What time is it? Uh, more Instagram notifications. 618, man. We got a couple hours to fish. It's going to be a fun time. Storm coming in tomorrow. It sounds like a little front pushing through. Tonight's bite could be very hot. We grabbed a bunch of gear. I'm excited. First things first, guys, uh, the pen reel that we brought out, the spinning setup that Devin's going to be using with a big catfish rod we have. We're just picking up the longest rods we got so we can really make some far casts out here. And uh, John who we're meeting up with hit us up on Instagram and told us the bite has been good lately. He said it is packed and he is not lying. I mean, there is so many cars here, so many people. Uh, it is absolutely packed. We'll show you a closer look down there. I'm just working on a uh, double uni knot to cinch this. Uh, <laughs> what's going on, buddy? <laughs> to cinch this fluorocarbon leader, 25 pound onto the like 50 or 60 pound main line of braid. So. So here's the buffet. We've got some swim jig heads, all shad colorations really tonight. We've got a half ounce and quarter ounce, depending on how far, uh, how quickly this stuff is flowing out here below this dam is gonna depend on what weight we might go with. We've got some big shadalicious 5.5 inch baits by Strike King. We've got some Zoom uh, Magnum sized flukes. We got the seven inches right there. We have got these little guys, H2O Express. Devin picked these out, just uh, little weighted swimmers with the jig hook on top. We grabbed some beast owner hooks. Uh, we got the eight aught size, which is about three eighths ounce. And we'll put those on maybe any of this stuff. We're just kind of clueless out here. We're just having fun. We're just having fun. So here's one of those beast owner hooks unrigged. We're about to put some plastic on it. And then we've also got the Guggen goodies. We might toss the swim jig out, throw these saucy swimmers. Uh, we're just gonna see what hits man and then continue on. But uh, we gotta go ahead and get ready and get our spot because it looks like a lot of people are showing up for this sunset bite. Yeah, that does look pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'm filming. That's what Devin's rocking. Look at that, three eighths ounce beast owner hook. Man, we might be losing some money today in these rocks. <laughs> All right, guys, first glimpse at the bank. People, 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 no matter which way you look. Yep, he's over to the left. It is busy, huh? Yeah, everyone's just chilling. Uh, furloughed and such <laughs> good man nice to meet you yeah absolutely this looks dope though yeah have you seen anybody pull anything yeah, out yet or no got five right now five yeah. all right there so you go y'all probably throwing yeah, some bigger stuff than we've brought but we well we kind of got we we diversified no we got actually, some goodies i have that exact suicide shirt tied on okay yeah, okay <laughs> there we go <laughs> that sounds good yeah. all right well let's get in here oh. all right y'all so john's telling us the technique here with this current basically what we want to do is cast to about 10 o'clock kind of crank it nice and slow to about two o'clock and then rip it back in. You just kind of repeat that process. You stay out there deep. There's a couple drop offs out here. It sounds pretty dope, man. We're just getting started. We gotta step our game up on the striper supplies. My line's going up river. I'm like, hold on a second. Friendly business out here. <laughs> Nothing like a little snag on somebody else's line to start things off. <laughs> I can't cast accurately with these light baits and that uh, heavy swim bait rod. So I went up to the truck, got a seven, six heavy with uh, slower tip well not really a slow tip but if you compare it to that eight footer made for swim baits so i can get those baits out there accurately i have you seen anybody pull one out while i was up there or no yeah one just got some guy just pulled one what? out you didn't see that one uh nope i, I wasn't paying attention when you pulled it out. might have been <laughs> honestly i might dip this tail in some chartreuse there's a homie that just caught one of these babies down the way over here and his whole bait was chartreuse up. Me and George, we're catching the bottom a lot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Having ourselves a good old time. Let's go. 
Here we go, man. John's on with something good right here. Seems like. Can't be a striper, huh? Or a car. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, he hasn't made a blistering run yet. Have not seen this thing yet. <laughs> Jerk bait, man. <laughs> Catfish potentially on the jerk bait. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Looks like we're snagging the carp in the back. False alarm. False alarm. <laughs> All right, guys, quick cut. Uh, there's not a lot of context in this video going from day to night. We weren't really catching a whole lot at first, but we're about to get on them. So what had happened was we were getting the casting down, but the place was so packed that it was just almost a nightmare. And here comes the pros, like after a lot of people had decided to leave, right? Like as sun was setting, boom, the floodlights come on and you're able to like fish this place till late after dark, ton of fun. And anyways, Devin was able to actually get some uh, <laughs> baits from a friend on the bank. And after casting those puppies out pretty quickly, she gets on a big striper. It's pretty cool, you guys. Stay tuned and check this thing out right here. But we're going to cut into basically after 9 o'clock. We only got there a couple hours before sunset. And so, you know, we're fishing, we're fishing, we're fishing, not having the best of luck. But once we get the casting dialed in with that current, it was much easier. Once it toned down, there was less people on the bank. It was much easier. So here we go. Let's get back to it. The pink ones? I thought that was thunder for a second. Are you sure? Thank you. Yeah, no kidding. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'm going to catch a fish. Bound and determined. Do we have any jig heads? Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. It's the money. Whoa. Weston, I swear to God. No, I swear to God, as soon as it hit the water. Oh my God. <laughs> you want your fleet back? Do you have some for real? You better keep that tight. <laughs> I was like, I'm catching a fish. Hours later. <laughs> easy, 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 easy. Oh my God. <laughs> belly, belly, that's a female. Dude, we're talking about heading out. It's 9 o'clock. We've been here since 6. Devin's, were you rolling or did you just turn that on? No, I was rolling. You were rolling that whole time? Yes. Oh, hell yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Me and George are BSing, dude. We're like ready to head out of here. Devin gets some pink flukes from homie down the way and <laughs> first cast as soon as it hits the water. What oh the God. hell? <laughs> Guys, look at this. Oh, I'm the first striper of the night. I'm about to fall off these rocks. We've been here for probably two and a half hours. I am so excited. This thing hit as soon as it hit the water. It yeah. was crazy. Yeah, you're like. I was like, wait, like, it, and then I felt the head shakes, and I'm like, no, that's totally a fish. And for a second, I thought I lost it, but no, guys, look at that. Look how fat, chunky it is. That's so freaking. You want to cool. get a weight on it for them? Yeah, Let's see for what this sure. thing weighs. Let's see what this thing weighs, guys. What do we got? <laughs> oh, five pounds. Five, five and a half five, to start the night, yeah, huh? Set at five point six four. Crazy. <laughs> that's nuts. <laughs> Do y'all want the fish or we're gonna throw them back? Yeah, Alright. We're gonna go home. There you go. Have something to cook Thank and clean, you. right? Of course. Alright guys, so thanks to George for giving me the quarter ounce uh, jig head and thanks to these guys over here for giving me the pink fluke first cast. I kid you not, as soon as this thing hit the water, that fish was on. My heart was racing. I am not done. I want to catch more fish now that we've gotten a taste of it. So stick around. Alright guys, we are now rejuvenated right here with the pink fluke and a quarter ounce jig head. The bite seems to be picking up hours later, dude. So we're going to be here for a little bit longer trying to catch some of uh, these things. Uh, we might have to try and uh, barter for some more of these flukes. We might have to trade somebody some lures or whatever it takes, bros. Here's a good spot right here. Seems to be good. I don't know. Yeah. Sick for that shit, that big ass line gets stuck on Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, that's why I quit. You know? Oh, there we go. Okay. You got, him, man. got him. Come on. First little guy. <laughs> Very little. He's a tiny young buck, but that's okay. First one of the night, baby. <laughs> He was just telling me that's a good spot. <laughs> My first one of the night. It's a little guy, but look at those pink flukes. Exactly what we're throwing. He gobbled it right in the top of the mouth. That hook set. 
I'm gonna try and hold on to this thing, man, if I can, because we are limited on what to throw to catch these things. And I would like to use that again. Look at that, quarter ounce is what's working right now. Just casting it out as far as you can, and then kind of just popping it a little bit like a jig. And what's happening is, of course, it's getting carried downstream. So you're just popping it a little bit, wait a few seconds. Pop it a little bit, wait a few seconds. And then once it starts to really go down a little ways, you start just burning it back in and you gotta make another cast and let it drift down. It's a tough situation if you're not used to it, but we're coming to find out. We can catch them hogs. I'm the dink master, man. I don't care if it's largemouth or striper. It's just how it goes. I'm gonna put him back in the water. We're gonna get some more. All right, time for some more. Let's go. What time is it? 9.30, man. Fight's picking up on a Tuesday evening. Uh, psych actually, after that, they had cut the current from the dam, and so what had happened was the bite died. So <laughs> we decided to split, call it quits, man. We stayed until about 10 o'clock. It was an ultra fun session. We want to get back out there and do that again. With that being said, let me know if you enjoyed the striper content. Hopefully we can get it back out there and actually catch some during the day with better lighting. But the night session was a ton of fun. Do not get me wrong. I enjoyed it a lot. Hope you guys enjoyed it a lot. Anyways, guys, we'll catch you on the next video, probably tomorrow. Upload a day. Let's try and keep this thing going. <gasps>